All right, money and women. Two of the biggest insecurities most men have. Money and women. Two of the biggest motivators most men have. Or simply put, money and women. One a great tool and second a great fellow human species the mankind can coexist with, cherish and joy. But you see, this third phase of a man's awareness is next to impossible. Gentlemen, there are only a select few group of people, select few group of men and women who are so smart, so wise, so clear with their path and purpose that neither money nor the vanity, fame and attention is a reason for them to get up and go to work, is a reason for them to build, create and change the world. It does not serve them as an interest, it does not serve them as a motive. But that ratio, that percentage is very small. So most men, in my personal experience, fall either in the first two categories. It's either their insecurity or their absolute motivation. Yes, most men in my country or even in the globe for that matter are either way too insecure about not having or not making or not earning enough money or they are highly insecure, they are highly sensitive about lack of attention, fame, attraction and the interest from the opposite sex as there is. And gentlemen, this is a problem an unhealthy, demotivating and catapulting problem. A problem that is not doing any good to the mankind, a problem that isn't motivating, isn't uplifting, isn't making men any productive in the coming future. So I want to attempt to fix it. I want to attempt for a resolve. Gentlemen, my name is Bangbara Sharya. This is Life Essentials, a weekly YouTube show where I fuck up, document and share my experiences, my learnings as I transform myself in the process of becoming a better, useful and a happier man. So in case you are on a similar path, in case you want to transform yourself to be a better man, I would recommend you subscribe to the channel and watch all the other 1000, 1500 plus videos on this channel. Anyway, let's show. So no matter how hard would I want it for myself, no matter how desperate I am to be in this state of Vairagya myself, I think being in the third phase of absolute awareness, absolute Vairagya, absolute conscious clarity is still a very hard thing to solve, at least for me thus far. Yes, a path where you are completely detached from the outcome, where you are completely detached from the work that you are doing, but you still wake up excited, motivated, driven and show up to the work and give it your absolute best. I'm still an outcome oriented guy, I'm still a goal oriented person. So for me to be in that state, hopefully, eventually sometime soon in the future with my meditation practices and whatnot, I could be in that state. But as of now, I don't see myself in that Vairagya state of being any so. So what is the play then? How should we approach this money and women game? And at least not let it affect us negatively as mundane. Well, easy. We level up our awareness, we level up our consciousness, we level up ourselves from those deep insecure thoughts to a highly motivated positive self. Yes, we need to level up ourselves from the deeply rooted insecurities to the highly motivating positives. For example, gentlemen, you'll never be able to make your true worth of money if you are always insecure and sensitive about money at the very first place. You see, you need to understand this, that in order to make your absolute worth of money, you need to be a provider. You need to either provide a service, product or something that the world, that the community, that the people needs. And you can't really be in that state of mind. You can't really be in that problem solving space if you are always insecure and sensitive about chasing stupid pennies. And if you aren't in the headspace to solve a problem, you aren't going to solve any problem. And if you don't really solve any problem, you aren't going to get paid for anything as well. That's just the nature of human science. That's just the way we work. That's just how human beings operate in general. So if you're always comparing yourself with others in terms of salaries and income, if you are judging yourself in terms of your net worth and income, it will never lead to a positive outcome. Your insecurities or your extra sensitivity towards money will only keep your ideas, your vision and your goals limited to chasing pennies and being richer than your friend. Gentlemen, it will limit your true potential in finding and solving a true problem that's in your hands. 
Yes, you'll be so lost in the cobwebs of mediocrity and chasing pennies that you'll totally ignore the very great idea that could probably solve a million problems and make you a million dollars but you'd rather be busy comparing yourself your income and your net worth with the five close broke friends because gentlemen at the very crux of it at the very core of it we human beings are designed to coexist we aren't built to boo someone down or throw someone over just because we think it'll make us more money fame or rich the whole point the whole part of us at least our indic civilization was to coexist and sir so if you are not constantly made aware of this on a daily basis if we are not constantly reminded of this on a daily basis we will lose track and fall flat into the dead loop of the insecure cycle yes a cycle that will disable you from all your services all your motivation all your success awareness and inspiration but rather keep you insecure and broke by just comparing yourself with the six people you see gentlemen i don't know how does this sound to you but to me it sounds like a very sad and apathetic way to live lead and end life you see objectivity and awareness are two key elements of solving any given problems but if you can't be objective and aware at this given point in time at least learn to practice it yes at least learn to practice not being insecure of these two specific things abandon all your insecure thoughts abandon all your negative emotions abandon all your negative feelings that you have with money and women and replace it with empowerment motivation and inspiration instead and one very easy way to do so one very easy way to replace your negative thoughts with positives is finding a solid cause is by finding a solid why Why do you hate money? Why are you so insecure about money? Why do you hate women? Why are you so insecure about women? You see, solving for this why is one very easy and effective way of channeling your negative to positive. For example, I hate money because I am not making enough of it. Had I been making a lot of cash, I would have afforded a life and a lifestyle for myself that would have had abundance of a lot of things. I don't have it, so I hate it. Money is bad. Rich people are assholes. Now, instead of this negative talk, instead of this insecure talk that we have in our head about money, we can rather reinforce our thoughts with some positive talks, with some positive videos or podcasts, and we can train ourselves. We can actually practice our way up to being more objective and finding a problem and solving. for it if we aren't making any money if we aren't making enough money then why is it so how can we actually figure out a way to solve a problem serve a cause serve a purpose and in return make the money that we ought to deserve instead of bitching and complaining about the fact that no man i can't afford a boss and i can't afford a suit because i'm poor i don't have enough money why can't you figure out a way to make that money and afford a lifestyle that you truly deserve to live gentlemen instead of playing the victim mindset i would much rather have you work on yourself i would much rather have you solve the problem by yourself and figure the way out on how do you actually make this needed money or how do you actually communicate with the ladies how do you express your emotions and how do you do it all without being a creepy weird jerk Yes it can be done there are people who have done it i have made thousands of videos about it there are many other youtube channels who talk about it talk about how to make money how do you find your purpose how do you find a passion how do you find your reason and a problem to solve and in the process of doing so make a lot of cash as well there are ways and there are options out there if you sit and complain if you feel entitled and privileged about everything that you have in your life or everything that you do not have in your life you aren't going to go any further you are only going to get a lot more insecure a lot more sensitive and a lot more immature if i may say in the coming days of the future because once you start doing this once you start changing your insecurities to positives and inspiration slowly and steadily all your negative thoughts all your sensitive emotions about a few things you were very insecure about will translate or will transform into positives and inspirations these problems and solutions will lead to you solving a greater problem finding a inner cause and then in the return have your personal worth your personal share of the worthy money the same concept the same principle applies to women ladies and dating as well i have a friend who works in an influencer marketing agency he is a creative guy he likes to be creative he likes to film a lot edit a lot and he is a very stylish man as well but he is insecure he is sensitive and he is very hollow about himself because he feels he cannot really go out and date the kind of women or the ladies he is interested in because gentlemen in this case he wants to go out and date one of the influencers the influencers he goes out with the models he probably photo shoots every other day but what he fails to realize is that his thought in the head of wanting to date and not putting in the action not putting in the work and instead of 
cribbing and crying over the fact that all these models and actors and influencers are very superficial they don't really see me for myself they don't really appreciate men as is is not really helping solve any problem i have made plenty videos on how do you communicate behave and present yourself when you're around a certain women and their type and in my honest experience in my humble experience all the influencers and models well they aren't really all that bad yes some of them could be materialistic some of them could be very superficial but on a macro scale the majority of them the ones who have actually worked hard and made their name in the industry by actually putting in their mind and muscle well they are actually very humble beings and if you can prove yourself to be a worthy man if you are confident and alive in being the complete man that you are she will be very attracted she will be very drawn to your masculinity but if you are very highly insecure of yourself if you are very sensitive about everything that you see around yourself your masculinity your manliness will be feel jaded it will not look authentic it will not look something that a woman seeks appreciates and admires to be around with so yes if you know social dynamics if you know game if you know the very basics of how to behave and how do you present yourself like a man in a conversation in a social situation or in a date you will be surprised you will be absolutely mind blown by the kind of attention retention and attraction you will get from these apparent models influencers and actresses alike but for all of that to happen you will have to pull yourself out of this victim mindset for all these women to give you their attention you have to feel like a worthy man for all these customers who need their problems to be solved for all these viewers who want to watch a video where they can learn from you have to step up and film yourself or you have to go out and solve a problem for them so that they can pay you in cash and thank you for solving their problem none of this can happen none of this can ever translate to your life or to your ideas if you are highly insecure and sensitive about everything that there is related to money relationship and women i hope this helps i hope this video gives you a food for thought so that the next time you think you are being insecure and sensitive about salaries incomes girlfriends dating relationship and sex you can try looking at things a lot more objectively and you can hopefully try meditating and becoming a lot more aware and objective in life in case you want you can check out our sexy shirts and t-shirts at teambasics.com the annual bosom sale is also live in case you haven't we have got a few sneakers size 10 and 11 in case you haven't you should totally check them out and in case you can't afford it they are on sale so this will probably be the cheapest you can get them at any given point in stage we also have launched our sexy new grooming company called calves grooming this is the hair paste which i have been using for about 6 months on my hair now absolutely fantastic killer product probably the best one in the market you can check them out you can check this out at calvesgrooming.com anyway thanks a lot for watching thanks a lot for your time in case you want to learn more about the art of communication and how do you really interact and engage with a woman i'll recommend you watch this video in case you want to learn how to make money and start your own business there is a playlist for that as well check it out in case you haven't and stop expecting people to spoon feed you your transformation at the end jai hind gentlemen my name is mangal acharya thanks a lot for watching so good